Now, here's a warning for all you youngsters out there thinking you're being fashionable and trendy, and you're doing your big hair and all the rest of it. If you overdo <laughs> that hair, you might lose it. It might come off. I'm talking about one of the most iconic hairstyles of the 80s. And, uh, of course, tracks that actually define time trends and fashion. It's all being re-released with a brand new recording with all four original band members, nine exclusive remixes. Flock of Seagulls lead vocalist Mike Score is here. Good to see you. Good morning. We, what happened to the hair, Mike? Um, you know, I, I did it like that. Did some crazy fashions in the 80s. Oh, then... you were, I mean, you were known for it. Yeah, well, I, you know, I wanted to be a spaceman like David Bowie kind of thing, you know, so I, I did that once for one show and then finally it just became the look of the band. Yeah. And then I, I grew it real long and then one morning I just woke up and went, you know, I'm sick of trying to detangle it. <laughs> and I just shaved it off and I went, now it's great, I don't have to bother with it. Yeah. But to tell you the truth, this is more work than that was because, like, now every day I have to, you know, yeah. shave but, it off. But that made you instantly recognizable because everyone you know when everybody hears the music the first thing they think of is oh yes that 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 hair that hairstyle yeah and i'm i'm so glad of that you know it's yeah. it was just a uh, fun really to do hair i mean i was a hairdresser so oh, right. we you know we used to do our hair different colors different styles all the time crimp it and stuff like that um but then of course you know when you find a hairstyle like that people start to look to look at you and go and see you for that and strangely enough, in the 80s, I remember doing an MTV thing and uh, they actually came to see how I do my hair, not how the band was doing. You know? uh, right. so, so I was suddenly like, wow, my hair's more, uh, more I'll famous. I'll tell you what, band. though, it's, I mean, it's from, from the early 80s, that, that sort of that sort of glamour and it was almost sort of a bit of camp glamour wasn't it i mean yeah, it was definitely. it's so iconic of the t of the time as w as well as the music i mean the whole image thing gets packaged together i guess so why because you're talking about iconic music why have you decided as the four original band members to say we're gonna we're gonna re-record some of these hits well um august day records came to us with the idea of doing it orchestrally which oh, right. to, to us was we never thought of, you know, us, a flock of seagulls, being involved with a philharmonic orchestra. You know, we were just four kids from Liverpool banging away on our instruments. So when they came with that idea, it was like, yeah, well, it, that must, it would sound awesome, you know. And then it then escalated to, well, the four original people that did that should be involved in it now. So it goes full circle and you get basically the same feel the same recording feel as the original band but now with a, a full orchestra oh, yeah. and how would you say that you, you've involved how has the the, the music changed for you because i mean it's a, it's a long time ago isn't it the 80s yeah but for me it's just me i mean you know i haven't tried to become hip-hop or anything else i just carry on doing what i like doing and you know although it has its ups and downs luckily for me my music career has just kept going you know so uh, it's what I like to do, and as long as it keeps coming back at me, I'll keep doing it. And, and I mean, on Ascension, the album, you've, you've also got, for the diehard fans as well, as well as the new stuff or the, the, the new take on it, you've mm -hmm. got remixes as well. Yeah. Which is always quite, you know, every fan likes a remix. The, the strange thing with that is we didn't have a lot to do with that. It was August Day's idea, and they have producers. So basically, they we just said to them, you go do what you want bring it back to us, and if we like it, we'll say, great, and if we don't, we'll say, change it. Yeah. So we don't have, like, hands-on, you know, let's do this remix and let's do that. In fact, we, we don't really have time for that either because you can go on forever remixing yeah. and picking and stuff. And, I, you know, great for me, it came along, we did it, and now it's, yeah, show me what you're doing with it, and, you know, and I'll yes or no. Uh, it's nice to know, Mike, that the good talent never actually goes away. <laughs> really I good thought you were going to say never yeah. actually goes no. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> really good to see you this morning. Thank, Thank you. Even though the hair's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I can like this, you know. <laughs> good to see you.